I'm learning pen testing and ethical hacking at home with books and sites and programming. How can I go further? Okay, so this is a question that I answered on Quora. Uh, and I answer all sorts of questions related to cybersecurity and penetration testing. So if you want to follow me, make sure to check the link in the description. All right, so if you're new to cybersecurity or if you want to get into the field of cybersecurity and or penetration testing, it is okay to start with an introductory course. Um, I could suggest going to Cyber IT because it is um, a free platform. Not everything in there is free, but they have a lot of good stuff uh, for free. And uh, there is an introductory course on ethical hacking and penetration testing. And I will link to that in the description. So um, it is OK to start with an introductory course if you're new to the field or an introductory book and uh, I might link to some uh, some good introductory book in the description, but, and here's the catch, the majority of expertise in cybersecurity or as a cybersecurity analyst or a penetration tester is achieved through practice. So through hands-on practice, you cannot be a cybersecurity analyst or penetration tester with uh, theoretical knowledge. That It doesn't go like that. The primary reason for that is uh, because in your assessments or in, in your job, whether it is a cybersecurity analyst or penetration tester, you actually have to get into targets, analyze stuff. Do, uh, do, penetra do security assessments or penetration tests that you have to break into a machine if you're uh, on the red team side or protect the machine uh, with uh, uh, different measures if you're on the blue team side. So uh, it doesn't go theory alone, uh, won't get you anywhere. So that's why you have to get hands-on practice. And today it is easier than ever to um, uh, get or build a skill or get hands-on practice uh, in penetration testing and in cybersecurity as a cybersecurity analyst. So uh, if you would be wanting to enter the field, let's say 10 years ago, you wouldn't have sites like Volhub or Hack the Box that would allow you to safely and legally build or craft your skill through practice. It would be much more difficult uh, to actually uh, download a vulnerable machine if there were any back then. Maybe there was one or two ten years ago, which would limit the development of your skill. So today uh, it is much easier and much more convenient to actually uh, get hands-on practice in penetration testing. So um, to give you like a very specific and practical advice, uh, I would uh, start with uh, going to volhub.com and looking for a uh, beginner vulnerable machine. I would download it and I would um, uh, install it in Hack the Box, in uh, VirtualBox or VMware, uh, and then actually start breaking into it. If it is, so since this is going to be your first machine, it might be a bit difficult to actually do it yourself. So I would choose a vulnerable machine that has some write-ups. So since I don't know nothing about it, I would actually look at the write-ups and try to replicate the steps to actually own or break into that machine and grab the user and the root flag. So I would do that with one or two machines on Volnhub and then I would actually take another machine and try to do it myself. Um, you might still encounter difficulties along the way. So if you get stuck, uh, what I would do is to actually take a peek, just a small peek uh, on a write up on that machine and try to do the rest of it myself. So if I would get stuck, I would just take a peek at the write-up, not read the whole thing, because that's not how you learn. Okay, so uh, I actually did a couple of uh, Volnhub write-ups on the channel, uh, on the cyber, in the cybersecurity playlist, so uh, make sure to, to check it out. 
Now, once you have a couple of machines owned on Volnhub, you can start going to, so Volnhub is completely free. You just go there, download, download the virtual machine, set it up in VirtualBox or VMware, whatever your virtualizer environment is, and then uh, actually try to uh, grab or try to get into it uh, with Kali Linux. Most people use Kali Linux. I use Kali Linux most of the times. So um, then once you have a couple of machines on Volnhub, you can keep on doing machines on Volnhub, but what I would actually uh, start doing is going to Hack the Box because Hack the Box um, is a bit more complex and it, it also has like ranking systems it, it kind of gamifies uh, cybersecurity and penetration testing, which actually makes you more motivated to be into it. So similar to Volnhub, um, Hack the Box has virtual machines, but you don't have to download them. You actually connect to their VPN and you only need the IP of that, of that virtual machine to actually uh, start working your way into it. So in that way, Hack the Box is really cool. So. They have, a, they have a free tier, I mean, everybody. If you're able to hack your way into Hack the Box, uh, uh, the platform is free. Uh, you could also get VIP if, uh, if you wanna actually be uh, on private servers which have fewer users trying to hack into the boxes. But more on that maybe uh, in, a, in a different video. Okay, so now you have uh, Volnhub and Hack the Box, which uh, both of them work for the same purpose, actually to help you get or improve or develop a skill in cybersecurity and penetration testing. And uh, you should keep practicing for as long as you find it necessary until, uh, until you get comfortable with the field, because I want to reiterate, most of your expertise as a cybersecurity analyst and or penetration tester is built through practice, hands-on practice. And you can get hands-on practice on these two platforms safely and legally. Now, there are other ways uh, that you can build hands-on practice. There are other platforms uh, and sites where you can do challenges and even uh, problem solving and uh, penetration testing and cybersecurity, which I might talk about in, in a different video. But yeah, that's that that might be a subject for a different video. So it is okay to start with an introductory book or course, but do get this: your skill is built through practice, hands-on practice all the time. And then once you are comfortable with your skills, you can either, I don't know, get a certification like the OSCP, which I might talk about in a different video, or of course, which is what uh, we are all in for, actually start getting clients and do penetration tests uh, on real uh, targets of course, with their appropriate permission. All right, so this is all I have for you in this video. If you have requests specific to this field that you would like me to do videos on, please leave them in the comments, uh, in the comment sections below. So yeah, let's, let's get into the discussion over here. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.